There were so many different scenarios floating around as to what was going on with Ukraine. So rather than ask the president nine different questions, is it this, is it this, is it that, I just said, what do you want from Ukraine? I may have even used a four-letter word. And he said, I want nothing. I want no quid pro quo. I just want Zelensky to do the right thing, to do what he ran on, or, or words to that effect. And that gave me the impetus to respond to Ambassador Taylor with the text that I sent. As I said to Mr. Uh, Goldman, it was not an artfully written text. I should have been more specific, put it in quotes, something like that. But basically, I wanted Mr. Taylor, Ambassador Taylor, to pick up the ball and take it from there. I, I had gone as far as I could go. The next time you talked with the president was on the telephone was September 9th, according to your deposition, right? I may have even spoken to him on September 6th, but again, okay. I just don't have all the records. I wish I could get them. Then I could answer your questions very easily. Okay. But on September 9th, at least at your deposition, you were extremely clear. You, you called the president. You said he was feeling cranky that day, right? He seemed very cranky to me. And you said, in no uncertain terms, and this is on the heel of, heels of the Bill Taylor text, right? Right. And why don't you tell us, what, what did the president uh, say to you on September 9th that you remember? Well, words to the effect, I, I decided to ask the president the question in an open-ended fashion because there were so many different scenarios floating around as to what was going on with Ukraine. So rather than ask the president nine different questions, is it this, is it this, is it that, I just said, what do you want from Ukraine? I may have even used a four-letter word. And he said, I want nothing. I want no quid pro quo. I just want Zelensky to do the right thing, to do what he ran on, or, or words to that effect. And that gave me the impetus to respond to Ambassador Taylor with the text that I sent. As I said to Mr. Uh, Goldman, it was not an artfully written text. I should have been more specific, put it in quotes, something like that. But basically, I wanted Mr. Taylor, Ambassador Taylor, to pick up the ball and take it from there. I, I had gone as far as I could go. And you believe the president, correct? You know what? I'm not going to characterize whether I believed or didn't believe. I was just trying to convey what he said on the phone. Okay. And at that point in time, the, the, the pause in the aid, the aid was paused for 55 days. There was a news article in Politico on August 28th talking about it. So by that point in time, the president had uh, been receiving calls from senators. He had been getting pressure uh, to lift the aid, correct? Uh, that's what I understand, yes. I want to turn back to your, your opener on page five um, under w when you talk about in the absence of any credible explanation for the suspension of aid, I later came to believe that the resumption of security aid would not occur until there was a public statement from Ukraine committing to the investigations, correct? Correct. And you acknowledge that this is speculation, right? It was a presumption. Okay. That you, you, it was a guess, in fact, I think you even said this morning. Well, I, I want to say that it, it goes back to Mr. Goldman's point or, or Chairman Schiff's two plus two equaled four in my mind at that point. Okay, but you didn't have any evidence of that, correct? Other than the aid wasn't being released and we weren't getting anywhere with the Ukrainians. Okay, but did Ambassador Volker clue you in that that was the, the issue? I mean, this is a pretty high, um, I mean, this is a, a pretty serious conclusion you've reached without precise evidence. Well, I sent that email to Secretary Pompeo to set up a potential meeting between President Trump and President Zelensky in Warsaw. And when I referred to the logjam, I referred to the logjam in a very inclusive way. Uh, everything was jammed up at that point. And Secretary Pompeo essentially um, gave me the green light to brief President Zelensky about making those, those uh, announcements. Um, okay, we can, you know, we, we can turn to that. Um, 